Okay, the first thing that we've got to do is we need to um, first upload our thank you page, all of our pages to our website, okay? So wherever you have this stored at, um, or I'm sorry, wherever you, you need an FTP client. And I like using um, uh, is file, FileZilla, okay? It's free. Um, you can just get it, I think, at FileZilla.com. Um, but anyway, all you do is you browse to, once you log in, you browse to, you know, My Weight Loss Online or whatever your story or, you know, whatever your domain name is. And then you go locate the file that you want to upload. And so I wanted to do the index and the thanks. Those are the two pages. So I just, you select them like this. Um, and then you just click and drag over to the folder. And uh, I already put them in there, but you just go ahead and do that. And what it'll do is it'll just automatically upload them to your server and now they're ready to go, okay? So, got that covered. Next thing we need to do now is to make the follow-up content. Now, I have for you guys a set of seven emails, swap files, that you can use uh, to um, kind of help get this this uh, thing started for you, okay? Uh, these, this, these swipe files, um, they work pretty well for any niche, all right? And uh, if you don't know really what to write in these emails, this will give you a good idea. But I'm going to go over the, the kind of system I like to use. Now, the first email is always going to be a thank you email, okay? Um, hey, thanks for purchasing. Here's your product. Or, or thanks for, um, um, you know, signing up. Uh, here's the product, Okay. Now the next email, because if they haven't, they obviously if they're still on this list by the second email, they haven't purchased yet. So I would just like to do a simple email, saying just reminding them, have you um, checked out the site? Okay, and I would just do this at one day intervals. So the very next day, hey, have you did you check out that site I told you about? All right. Now we don't want to like pester them we also want to build a relationship with them so the third email if possible i would get an interview with product creator an audio interview if all possible okay and i'd say in the email hey you know uh uh just thanks for subscribing hey i got some great content or i got some great stuff for you today uh i just uh was able to get an interview with the guy who made Fat Loss for Idiots, and uh, he's a real nice guy. And in it, he reveals um, – make sure you always tell them that they're going to get something out of out of it. In this 30-minute uh, audio, you're going to get some free secrets on how you can lose weight using this system. Um, and you can learn more about uh, you know, Fat Loss for Idiots by just this interview with this product creator. It's great. I'm excited you know, about it. Go listen to it, okay? So that would be like the third email. Fourth email. Uh, once again, uh, more content. Uh, I would do, um, you know, you've got you got your interview. I would do another testimonial, or actually no, because it's more selling. I would do more direct content. I would do um, another tip or trick from, you know, a uh, product. Hey, I just made another video. I want you guys to see, and then you can just redirect to another page. Uh, it's got a tip, um, a really powerful tip that you can use, and it's about and do something specific. Uh, say it's about how you can cook a really fancy steak dinner. You know, that's all just red meat and potatoes, and how you can make it uh, calorie free, so you'll never gain weight from eating it, or you know, something like that. Or I've got a cool recipe that's um, good for weight loss that I think that you'll really like. Um, go to this uh, video, um, and I'll I'll tell you about how you can make it. Okay. So something like that. That would be in the course in the niche I'm talking about. You'd want to adjust it for obviously the product you are uh, concerned with. So you've gotten two emails um, with just straight content. The fifth one, I would then be promotional. I would do another testimonial. So, hey, I just got an email in, or hey, I just found this other uh, person who had used Fat Loss for Idiots. Check this out. This is what they had to say, okay? Um, and then you would just go into your, uh, you know, kind of, once again, send them to a video uh, and read the story, tell the story, okay? Uh, you could do it something like inspirational in, inspirational story, okay? Um, then sixth email, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sixth email, I would tell more about myself, um, kind of how I'm doing 
with fat loss uh, for idiots or, you know, the product. Hey, this is what's been going on ever since I got the product. Um, you know, here's kind of an update on me. All right. Seventh email. Um, this is kind of the, would be the big call to action. Um, this is where I would really drive it home. This is maybe where you could offer a coupon um, if you could work it out with your merchant or maybe offer a uh, um, another bonus on top. OK, it's the big call to action. Um, you know, also maybe, you know, point out the guarantee. So this is kind of saying, you know, if you haven't bought by the seventh email, all right, I'm going to finally kind of put a little more pressure on you. I'm going to say, hey, get this. Uh, now we've got a coupon. It only lasts for 24 hours, so kind of use scarcity. Um, uh, and there's no risk to you. There's uh, this guarantee. So go check out the site now. And then what I would do after the seventh email is if they still haven't purchased, I would do one more email. Um, the eighth email would be, um, uh, you know, hey, just got word of this other cool diet that you may like since you never, you know, uh, since you never got uh, uh, my this product, perhaps you'd be interested in this one. You know, that's kind of what I would do. And then what I, from then on out, so these would all be one day apart, these emails. So, and I would just, And then what I would do is from here on out, um, I would do another 9 through 14 emails about the second product. And I would space uh, these out every other day or every kind of fourth day, something like that. And then from there, I would just kind of stop um, having an auto responder from there. It would just be broadcast emails and stuff. But uh, they're more likely to buy within these uh, first uh, few days. OK, now to keep the list warm warm that way they could still respond to you I would keep giving good content so maybe once a month um, create new content and send it to them broadcast and you can do this with uh, you could broad broadcast just to the group of people who have gone through your email sequence entirely uh, and then just send a broadcast message to those who are not or are past the 14th um, email and just send it to them by giving them good content. That way, if you decide to make your own product, um, they're going to be more likely to respond so you can keep them warm. OK, so that's kind of this how I like doing this. Be sure to check out the uh, email swipe file. I've got uh, just, you know, a ton of emails on how I, I've got the first seven emails, how you would write it. Um, OK. And so that's how you go about in the, doing that. And the next video starts kind of module two. I'm going to talk about uh, how you start off right, how you start off brand new, and how you kind of use these interesting techniques and tricks to start driving traffic and start exploding your list size without um, um, without relying on Google or SEO. So this is Rob. Thanks for listening and watching. I will see you in the final video.